Hi, I'm just going to do a quick video on how to install modlets to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. So, in this folder here, you want to create a mods folder. You see this right here? So, all you would do is right click, new folder, name it mods, and it goes right here. Okay? These are the mods that I currently have, and this is what you do. <clears throat> so, say you go to the site, somebody, these are different mods, you want to make sure that it's a modlet. Okay? So finally, faster acts. Okay, this is a modlet. It's a zip file. You click on this. Open with WinRAR. You can either do this. I'll show you what happens here. Open. Here. You'd right click this. Extract to a specific folder. Then you find the game. Mine's in the E drive. Under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. Seven days to die mods. Okay. So now when you look, finally faster axis here, and there it is. So each one will be kind of different, just depending. Um, let me see if I can find another quick one here. Um, um, there's a bunch of different kinds you can get. Some of them take you to different oh a different website. So say you went here and you wanted this trap mod that I have. You click on this link. It takes you here. And then you would click on this. You would click on this. Download zip. Then what you would do is you'd open up in WinRAR again. Now you wouldn't do this because it's a master folder. You would click on this and then you would take which one you want. Right click and do the same thing. Extract to a specific folder. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, to the people who don't understand modlets or how to put them in, but there's a bunch of good ones um, These are just the ones that I recommend here if you can see those uh, Especially guppy curves blood moon trickle is very important I think to make uh, hordes a lot better and more sustainable the hordes over time as the night goes on uh, Some faster vehicles is better too. terrain based movement. I feel is very cool some different UI can be very helpful so these are very easy to implement, and uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. All right, bye.